asked earlier if great history can inspire great art. Some of the world's most famous works of art were in fact created to honor important people and events. There is the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. and Mount Rushmore in South Dakota, the latter honoring great American presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. The United States Marine Corps War Memorial depicts one of the most historic battles of World War II, while the monument to the discoveries in Lisbon was built to honor the courage of the Portuguese navigators who crossed the world and discovered new lands. Castrillo was not only an artist, he was a nationalist who loved this country. And our cities are full of Castrillo's majestic sculptures, monuments, and statues, each with a story to tell. One of his most significant works is the Spirit of Pinaglabanan, which was built to commemorate the heroism of the Katiponeros who started the nationwide revolution in San Juan del Monte. His People Power Monument in Edza celebrates the historical event in 1986, which was hailed as a non-violent revolution that inspired other such revolutions in other countries. The Raja Sulaiman Monument along Rojas Boulevard honors the late 16th century sovereign of the Kingdom of Manila, who died in the Battle of Bancusay Channel while resisting invading Spanish troops led by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. The Cebu Heritage in the Parian District in Cebu is a tableau of Cebu's history in a three-dimensional form. Artistic, historical, and educational, this impressive art mural is today one of the highlights in any Cebu city tour. The Gat Andres Bonifacio mural beside the Manila City Hall showcases the life and martyrdom of the great hero from Tondo. The Redemption, Castrillo's rendition of the Last Supper for the Loyola Memorial Park, is a timeless creation that transcends generations. Its sheer size and artistry leave any in disbelief that such a gem is hidden in Marikina. Castrillo's works depicting historical events in Cavite like the Tejeros Convention and the Battle of Zapote Bridge reveal how his art flourished in the province he chose to consider his home. We will find out more about the life of master artist Eduardo Castrillo when My City, My SM, My Art returns. <music>